So today this tutorial is going to be making this Abby Kadabi personalized birthday outfit. As you see as pictured, we're going to be doing pink, uh, dark pink, light pink, and then a purple accent with a personalized birthday shirt. Here's some of the supplies you will need. You will need a design for this. This is an iron-on heat press transfer. So if you have your own design that you'd like to use, you're more than welcome. If you want the design that I have that's shown on the t-shirt, you will need to either purchase the design from my website for $3.50 or use any design that you choose, like maybe from Etsy or if you are, you're able to create your own design. But you will need a design and then a list here of all the supplies that you're going to need. We're going to get started with the tutu and then move on to the shirt. Okay, if you noticed in the supplies I had listed, um, I, I mentioned you need a board. Um, this is how I roll my tool, roll and cut my tool. If you can find any kind of a box, like if you got a package in the mail, and this measures 18 and a half inches in length, and this is how I cut my tool. This is gonna be a size 24 month tutu. And then if you're uh, working with a board, you just wanna make sure that you don't roll your fabric too tight so the board like crunches up, otherwise it won't be even. So I just cut my dark pink, moved on to the light pink. And then what you do when you cut the sides of these is you wanna cut one side here, pull the board out, and then you're gonna open it up. And then you're going to completely just get, grab this and fold it in half. Sorry, the video on the other side is cutting that out. Smooth it all out and make sure your ends even up on the other side. And then just cut right here. And then this way, if you have anything, it cuts it nice and even for the most part. But if you have any areas that you need to trim up, you just cut off the sides a little bit. So, like I said, this is a 24 month tutu. The waistband is 18 inches in the waist. So I start by grabbing two pieces of tulle. So every, little, every time I put tulle on, I grab two pieces at a time. So you're gonna grab your tulle you want to come underneath you're creating a loop you're gonna go inside the loop up and then you're gonna pull it down and when you pull it down you want to make sure that your the ends of your tool even up so they're equal part now I'm grabbing the uh, light pink you want to come under Create the loop, go inside the loop, check your ends, make sure they're even, and then come down. You wanna come down firm, but not too tight to the point where you're pulling the waistband down and crunch, scrunching it up too much. Just enough with a firm tug, and you see how that lays? Most of my tutus are like, um, usually I have two base colors and most of the time I'll come in with a third color which will be the accent color. Like this one, it's gonna be the dark pink, light pink, and then purple accent. And the purple bow that you've seen in the picture, it's just an embellishment that you can, you can pick those bows up at like Michael's or um, uh, Hobby Lobby and they're pre-made and then you just, Stick them on your tutu with a slide clip or you can sew them on. I'm not going to do a tutorial for that because um, I don't really consider myself a bow expert. And um, they're really beautifully made and, and they're inexpensive. You can pick them up for like $3. So I would suggest just buying a bow yourself. Um, if you guys want to, me to do a tutorial on the bows, uh, just leave a note in the comment section and, and maybe I'll do a little tutorial at a later time on those bows. So 
So I'm gonna finish this up right here and I'm gonna pause the, this uh, video in just a few minutes here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish surrounding my entire um, waistband. And then uh, I'll check back in with you. Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, completely surrounded the entire waistband. Uh, it looks nice and full. Now I'm gonna come in with my purple accent color. I usually grab about, I grab the two pieces of tool again of purple, and I usually go about every three or four sections. If you want a stronger accent, if you want more purple in it, you can go one or every other one or two slots of tool and then insert your purple. By the way, I was actually just using this tutor this mannequin for the tutorial. Um, you really don't need a mannequin for this tutorial. You can actually sit and make this on a chair, a couch. I mean, for the most part, I do this every morning and I'm sitting. Um, I'm only doing this on my mannequin uh, to show you the process and get so you can get a good visual of this. Now we're just going to kind of run our fingers through this. Looks nice and full. Again, this is a 24 month size. So whatever size you're working with. Um, and by the way, um, I will leave a link in the bottom there with some uh, waist measurements. Um, I also have a size chart on my website and I can link you over to that but sometimes it's best just to get the waistband and surround your child's waist and uh, measure that way. So the last thing I like to do with my tutus is I like to come into my office and I like to spray my tutus with a little bit of solution I created that's a part water, part fabric softener, uh, more water than fabric, fabric softener. And um, it actually helps with all the static cling in the tutu and helps with any wrinkles. So I like to spray this on, let it dry for a few hours, and then this will be ready to go uh, in the mail. Okay guys, so now we are going to move on to the uh, iron-on transfer portion of this design. Um, before you print your design, you need to mirror your image horizontally. So this is the way it needs to look before you print it. Don't forget you're using light fabrics for your uh, transfer paper. So put your transfer paper in and then you make sure that you can flip this design. If you do not have software that allows you to print your design this way, you can go into paint.net, it's totally free, and then open up your image in paint.net and then it will allow you to hit the image and then flip it horizontally and then just hit file print. Okay, so now it's the transfer paper. You print your design like this and, um, and you know what? You might wanna, just to be safe, try printing this on a regular piece of paper before you waste any transfer paper, just in case this doesn't print properly for you. All right? And then we're gonna uh, head into the office in a minute here, and we're gonna finish the process with our heat press, and you guys are gonna do the iron-on with your home iron, okay? Okay, so we are going to finish up the shirt now. Um, I am going to process this with my heat press because this is for an order, so I need it to be professional for my customer. This is where you're gonna get your um, transfer paper out, your home iron, maybe a towel for some cushion to lay, lay it down on, and follow the instructions on the iron on transfer packet. I like to come down on my, my garment for about 10 seconds to get it nice and hot. I lint roll it, so I would highly suggest that because once you do an iron on transfer, if you don't get any lint off your garment, whatever you put on top of it, it locks it underneath it, so it's not gonna come out. I lay my iron on down. 
my heat press is set to 375 and it's time timed for uh, 25 seconds and that's what works for my transfer paper if you don't have a lint roller you can just get some tape scotch tape that works too kind of just pound it down a little bit sticky down sticky side down So, oh, and yes, I do work in my pajamas. So if you're catching me in my PJs, um, I start work at five, it's five, six in the morning. So, um, benefits of working out of your house, I guess. Okay, so I do a nice soft peel on that. Then what I like to do is come down with some parchment paper, the parchment paper for baking sheets in the kitchen. I wipe that clean again, make sure there's no lint on that trans that parchment paper, and then I come down about five seconds or so. I do highly recommend that if you have parchment paper. It actually just gives your garment, uh, the iron-on transfer, more of a natural look. <clears throat> and there's our final product. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial. I will be posting about one to two uh, tutorials per week. Um, and if you have any suggestions on themes you'd like to see, uh, let me know down below. Um, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. I always love to see your final product. If you wanna email me, my email address is right down below here. All right, have a great day.